what we want to look at in this video is transforming these tables of data into this. Now let's look at our table of data. We have our monthly sales by rep by county. Then we have our sales rep and we have the sales rep identified the county or the region in which they sell in. And then their sales for that particular month. And we have a total down here. Then we have more data for a second rep and we have more data for a third rep. And a spreadsheet like this is extremely common. This data is known as a matrix style data because we have the fields going across the columns and we also have titles going down the rows. And it is the intersect between these points, so Kilkenny and April, that will give the value. And these are extremely common type spreadsheets in Excel. And people are used to looking at these. Experienced Excel users are used to looking at these probably more than looking at visualizations. Now, if you've read the blog post already, you may have downloaded this file and you may have already tried to attempt to recreate the graph that we showed you in the article. And if you've managed to succeed in doing this, I'll hope that you will post a comment and let me know how you actually went about this without using the method I'm going to show you. So the method that I'm going to show you is using Power Query. So what we're going to do is this file is called November Year to Date. And what we're going to do is go to a new Excel workbook and we're going to go to Power Query. And in Power Query, we're going to get from an Excel file and we're going to get our November year to date sales. And this brings us up a navigator showing us that there's one sheet and we're going to select this particular sheet and we are going to select edit. So this brings us into our query editor, what's known as the query editor. And we have steps over here based on the steps that we are going to take to clean up this data into a usable format. So the first thing that we'll note is that we have these nulls. Now Power Query will pull in a null where there is actually a blank. So we're going to remove them nulls because we don't need them. Next of all, we need column headers. And now our first row here is column headers. So we can say use first row as headers. The next thing we're going to look at is the sales rep. So we've quite a lot of nulls going down here. And if you go to transform data and go to fill and say fill down, you'll see that the rep has filled down, rep one has filled down, rep two has filled down. If we go down here, rep three has also filled down. The next step that we're going to look at is unpivoting the data. Now this is the matrix style that you're seeing in Excel. And it's the matrix style that's actually causing a problem creating the slicers in the graphs if you try and just do this task and sort this task and organize this task in Excel without using Power Query. It's the fact that these columns are actually pivoted that's causing a problem. So what we're going to do is we are going to unpivot these columns. So we've selected all the columns and we're going to select unpivot columns. And you'll see what's happened there is all the data has moved down. So now we have Limerick, we have all for rep one for Limerick, we have also got the month. So we're going to rename this column and we're going to name it month. And we'll see the steps here have actually updated. Now just to look at the steps over here, these are the applied steps that you have applied to your data source. If we remove this renamed column, we'll see that that goes back to attribute. And we're going to just rename this again and you'll see the step updating that we have renamed. So if you do make a mistake, you can go back through the data and unapply the steps that you have applied. So now we have formatted this data into a usable format. We can say close and load. And quite quickly, we can see that all of the data has been pulled into a table and we have our workbook query over here on the right of the screen. Now if we go to insert and we go to our recommended charts and we pick the first line chart there, we'll see that we have the sum of the value of the month. So we've basically been able to chart 
the sum of the sales so the value is actually the sales and we could change the title on that if we wished in the graph so what we can do now is we can now insert some slicers so if we go to analyze and insert slicer we can now insert by the county and i will just make this a little bit bigger and we will go into options and we'll increase the columns to three so we can see all of the data in the columns we're now going to insert another slicer insert slicer and we're going to insert by sales rep and we're going to select ok and now we have two slicers where we can quickly flick through the data and see in what county how well each rep is doing and also then look at it as an overall position now what's really cool about this and if we just go back to our query which is on the other worksheet and if we go into our query and we edit the query what we're going to do now is we're going to select source and we are going to edit the source so we're going to go to browse and we're going to change this to december year to date we're going to select ok and ok and now we are going to close and load the data and what you'll find now is all of them steps have now been applied to the december table of data here is our december table and it is the same as our november table except for it has an extra column for december so instead of applying a macro we have just ran the query on a new file so this is the updated file that's sent to you next month and we have just ran the query on this so now if we go over to our pivoted data and if we just refresh our pivoted data you see that december comes up in the chart and we can now see the extended data that quick by just setting up this query in power query so every month when you get a new file you just need to change the source and save and load the query and the file will actually update now this is really really awesome this could save you a lot of time every single month so if you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope that you will give it the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.